Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our K6 performance testing tool. In the last video, we have already seen that how to set up and install K6 on Mac machine. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up and install and we will try to run our first script in Windows machine. So here you can see this is my uh, Windows laptop. If you really want to quickly check that, you go to this PC. I'm having around uh, 8 GB RAM for this laptop and this is Windows 10 Home Edition. I'm expecting around 4 to 8 GB. That is more than enough. If you have below 4 GB RAM, then that could be a problem. Your system might be slow in that case. And here you'll see that cases is not available in my system in this Windows laptop. So I'll quickly do one thing. I'll go to my command prompt and uh, I'll just type K6 and then you simply run it. And then you see that K6 is not recognized or internal or external command we are getting. It means K6 is not available in my system. So I'm going to download K6 first. So what you do, you simply write, type on Google that download K6 and go to the first link installation K6. Go to the installation section, section here. And uh, K6 can be downloaded on Linux machine, Mac OS and the Windows. On Windows machine, we are going to talk about if you really want to use with the Choco package, the chocolate package manager, that also you can do that with the window package manager also. But these two utilities should be, you should have it on your Windows system. If you're not having it, these package managers, what you can do alternatively, you can download with the official runner also. So this is a MSI Microsoft installer runner provided by uh, K6. So you can just download this runner. So I'm going to download this. And here you can see this is a very small file dot MSI got downloaded and you just need to open that. And after that, it will start downloading. Simple setup, it will come here. Let's click on next. I accept the license agreement and click on next over here. It will be downloaded. It will be installed actually C program files K6 actually. So let's um, install it in this particular directory and ready to install K6 and then install it. And then if it's asking that Chapo makes you change your device. Okay, fine. No issues. And that's it. And it's saying completed the wizard and click on finish. And that's it. It's so simple, very straightforward. No need to configure any environment variables and all such things. It will be available under your C program files. So let's go to your C and program files. And here you can see K6 is available here. You open that K6 and this is the K6 here, right? That's it. And after that, again, I'll go back to my terminal. You don't need to configure any uh, environment variable or path over here. You simple type K6 and uh, okay, let's do one thing. It's still, it's not showing. Exit your command prompt and open that once again. So let's do that once again. And this time again, I'm typing K6 and this time it's giving you some options here. You can see K6.io installed here, although we are not running any script right now. So it's absolutely working fine. Now, in order to write a script, I'll do one thing again. We can pick a one sample script from here. So let's see uh, running K6. Same thing exactly we did on Mac machine also. Just copy this script from here and then we will try to run this script with one single user and let's see if it is really working or not. So I'll do one thing. I just open any a notepad file or you can open your Visual Studio code or any editor tool that you really want to use that. See, it's clearly written. Copy paste the code in your uh, favorite editor, save it and then run it. So let's see, I'm just opening a notepad right now. So this is my notepad and uh, paste your script over here. That's it. So see, this is a simple script that we have written. And it's saying this is the uh, this is a get API sleep for one. And then these are the two imports. This is a JavaScript code. And this is a default function that they automatically will be called from here. That's it. And after that, you simply save it. So I'll do one thing. I'm going to save it somewhere in my, uh, let's see, I'll go to my C drive. Somewhere in my C drive, I'm going to, okay, save it. So let's go to this PC and uh, oh, let's go to the C drive. I'll create a separate folder for that. So let's do one thing, right click somewhere and then let's go to new and let's create a folder. And then here I'm writing, this is my K6 uh, test folder. It means all my test cases available under this folder. Open that and then save the file, whatever the name that you want to give. Let's see, for example, I'm giving a script.javascript.js file. And I don't want to maintain this .txt, so I'm just going to use all files here and then save it and that's it. Okay, press Control S, got saved. The file name is script.js. Now, I have to go to that directory where exactly the script.js is available. So let's clear the console with CLS and I'll go to that directory. So first of all that uh, I'll go to my uh, documents and under documents, I have that directory that K6 
uh, test that directory we have created, right? Not, not in documents, actually, we created under the C drive. So what I do here is that I just go back to CD, C drive here, and then uh, now I'll check in my C drive, do we have K6 folder? Yes, this is a directory, and then you can check the DIR command. Uh, script.js is available here. So it means you have to go to that particular directory where exactly the script is available. Clear the console. Now in this directory, we just need to execute k6 run and then script.js and then run it. Let's see, are we able to run it? And then it should generate a nice report as well. Perfect, this is absolutely working fine. Here you can see that all the different data report matters, we are getting it here. Okay, and there are various other options. If you really want to execute with the uh, n number of users and all such things, that also we can do that. So that we have already covered in the previous video. So let's uh, copy this command. This is saying that virtual user 10 and duration 30 seconds. Let's see, right? So running 30 seconds for 10 virtual user load test. Virtual user mean 10 threads it will generate and then it will try to run it from there. So I'll do one thing. Let's clear the console once again, copy this command and then run it. This time it will take obviously more time to execute. You can see the countdown is started and it will introduce 10 virtual users for next 30 seconds. And then, uh, then after that, it will generate the report, your uh, load testing report, it will generate that. So let's wait for, uh, see 16, 17, the time uh, is getting increased up to 30 seconds, it will try to increase. And let's see uh, how many, <clears throat> what kind of report that we are getting it from here. So it's almost done 28, 29, and then finally 30 seconds, and then it's done, right? So here you can see that uh, you can get a different data as compared to the previous one. And uh, same thing, we are getting it over here as well. So there are various things you can execute that. Later on, if you really want to pass these information like virtual users or duration, you can pass directly from the script also if you don't want to pass it from the command line. And then, uh, there are various other options. The scripting part, as I mentioned earlier, we will check it uh, later. You just need to try that. Are you able to uh, install it, set up properly, and just try to write a basic script, your first script with K6, and uh, check that are you really able to run it or not. That's it. So following step that you have to follow, run a test, add virtual users, increase the time duration, ramp up the time, number request up and down, as the test runs, it means sometimes let's see suddenly five users, then 10 users, then 15 users, then 20 users, and again back to 10 users, then five users, then again ramp up and ramp down like that. So this option also, we will see that how to do that, okay, to perform the various load testing concepts here. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope it's, um, um, you will like it. Let me know in case of any issues, if you are facing any issues with the, with the installation part, and I'll see you the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.